How do you do last? This is SwiftCAD Code Factory. In this video is all about how to make a live face detection app with augment reality. This is my first video with AR and uh, what we are going to make at the end of this video is we are going to make a frame like this into our iOS NATO app. So this is my first episode. In the coming episode what I am trying to make is in the argument reality we can select or we can make an app like a lens card or a glassify as you can see over here in this video we can probably select a glass or frame and we can check how it looks in our frame so let's start the project it is pretty easy and simple we will start the project with a new xcode project single application I'm going to name it as AR face detection demo and I would like to save in uh, my desktop you could save it wherever you like all right first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to main dot story bot and going to take a scene kit over here probably can check like AR so you can see AR kit sync view just drag it and place it in your Wii controller try to cover the whole screen like this so let's make some constraint I'm going to name place a label as well It'll be of white color and uh, system of 18 size All right make some constraint as well fight Let it be horizontal and vertical as well. Alright, so we will go to our view controller as to editor and uh, we will make some constraint as well so to place a constraint for face view and uh, label as well. Name the name as status. We'll make this V controller much more bigger. And first of all, I would like to import AR kit over here. That's it. So, what uh, we are going to make is uh, we need our we did load with straight away with the camera when the app opens so what I'm going to do is we'll start with the face view touch delegate is equal to self and uh, I would like to write some extension here like extension View controller with E R S E N view jelly gate. So instead, I'm going to write some uh, render function like func render with node so got let device equal to face view dot device 
else return nil is view all right then let face uh, geometry it will be equal to like a r s c -E n face geometry of device and then let's uh, face node will be equal to SCN node of uh, geometry face geometry then face node dot geometry dot first material dot fill mode will be equal to with dotted lines I'm going to return a face node at the end so uh, this should not be a close I have to close the bracket over here this is the right way okay this is the extension which is having seen render and uh, for this is uh, where the face view of the device is detected and uh, face geometry is calculated with a face node and the first material will be fill mode with the lines of face node and uh, then what we are going to make is uh, in the beaded load I'm going to got call I got function for whether the device is getting support or not because of uh, AR supports in the device which is having iPhone 11 and or above and uh, if you are using with the iPhone 6 um, probably it won't be working though so configuration dot is supported else sorry else uh, we will show in the status label that uh, dot text like a string this uh, AR phase detection is not supported on this device like so and we need to return a function so so it's a return value that's it and then Oops. label okay so I'm going to write a, a override function With the view will appear super dot uh, view will appear chat let configuration
equal to AR face tracking configuration and uh, face view dot session dot run with configuration override from what happens if the view will disappear which means that when we go out of the screen so when we we need to write a function for a session which is getting paused in this session when the view did appear the face view for the session will start running and uh, when the screen is uh, disappear from then we need to stop this uh, face view session like uh, we need to pause the function so it's so, all right from view will disappear so in this like a super dot view will disappear so face view I'm going to post this uh, session. So it's face view dot session dot post. That's it. That's all in a program, and uh, it's, I I said already it's a pretty simple and easy way for a basic AR face detection live face detection app. So if you run the project, you get a crash. This is because uh, in your info.p list you need to give a string which allows the camera description. We will add a string over here. Description, sorry. And uh, the string this app or a demo app requires permission. to use camera all right that's all and we will run the project and see what we have done so far the build is succeed So lads, that's all in this episode. In the next episode, what we are going to make is uh, we are making going to make use of this AR kit to make an app like a lens card or a glassify so that you can select the frame or the glass which suits your face and in the live camera. That's all in this video tutorial. Stay tuned for the next episode. That's all. Thank you for thank you for watching. Thanks.